don't know what uh, in this in this uh, data set we don't know what parameter uh, you selected what server name you selected in the report so how are we going to modify this we're gonna go to the computed columns and we're gonna make a new res a new column we're gonna call it resource selected label and we know it's gonna be string and we're gonna use the expression builder for creating the expression we know we're going to want to key off of our data set of resource value and we're going to say we're going to set resource uh, equal to our parameter that we selected so we go to report parameters go to the first grouping because that's the grouping up top here and they go in order of grouping in this view and we're going to select uh, uh, server name put a semicolon so this says we're going to make row resource equal to whatever we selected here so that essentially means that uh, we want to make it edit we want to call this sorry we want to call this row resource value because that's going to be the value not the way it's displayed now we want to also make the label because that's what we want to show in that table so we're going to go here and we're going to copy this replace string because we're going to use the exact same format and instead we're going to use a new column we're going to call it resource selected label string type and we're going to use oh, it should have our new uh, uh, we're going to have to uh, click OK to have our new value so we see resource selected value if we go to preview results we don't see a resource selected that's because we don't have the default attribute the default attribute defined here so if we go back to our OS type make sure that says Windows remote and we're gonna need to edit this again because now we only have two right? remember it doesn't pick up correctly we have to go back and select off of it and select on it again and now we see the three of them click OK and select our value alright now we can test it in our resources if we said preview results now we see the one we selected is in fact the one that's default but now we need to make uh, a label value as well for the one we selected so we're gonna go to computed columns and do new resource selected label type string and the function is going to be based off of the selected value but with the same replacement string as in the resource uh, uh, label click OK preview results and now that are exactly identical now as I said here we list all of the resources followed by all their host names and this would show down every column it would show only the selected one and then every column show only the selected one hosting so that's how it appear in, in an environment with more than one server so click OK save and now we're gonna change this data by bind, uh, binding column change data column we're gonna select our resources say yes and we're gonna say we want to show the resource selected label click OK and save so now we've done that on the table we can also go down to uh, the graphs here and and check out how these work out now if we look at each one of these graphs and let me just highlight over them and we go to the property editor here and we select the binding tab we see the data set here is CPU windows and if we go down to another graph we see CPU Linux and the next graph will be CPU Unix so essentially it's making a graph per the different OS types well we're gonna make a new one because we have a new OS type and what we want to do is essentially copy the Windows one because we copied the data set of the Windows one so it's gonna be beneficial to us and we also want the table as well so instead of just copying them individually I recommend going down 
seeing where the grid is, which is here, selecting the grid, and then right-clicking on the grid, copy. And then if you simply right-click on that grid icon again, click paste, and it'll paste the exact same thing right below it, which we should be able to see right here. And looking at our properties binding again, we see it is CPU Windows, in fact. So now we have our Windows Remote uh, data set listed. We're going to modify this by doing right click on it, select data. And we could do it inside of the property editor, but I recommend doing it here. It's nice. It's a little bit nicer. So now we should be able to find our at the bottom, our CPU Windows Remote. And this, like I said, the row average percent, we're going to have to change this to be instead of average percent here. You see, because we kept the uh, output column names the same, uh, we don't need to change any of the series names here because they all remain the same. Now, these series represent different lines in the, in the, in the graph. Uh, and one of them represents the average total, one of them represents the max, min, uh, you know, one averages, you know, uh, standard deviation, so on and so forth. But because we kept we copied the Windows uh, OS data set and we kept the output column names the same. All we needed to do was select the right data set here and everything else should be taken care of. So we click apply and finish. And then we have to also do that. But before we begin, before we move on from there, we have to remove the one series that reference, remember the context switches that we don't have data for. So we go through the series and we try and find uh, context switches, which I believe is uh, the last series. Uh, uh, let's see, row average, row average standard deviation. Uh -huh. Trying to find it. Uh, min total processor time. And if it's not there, that means it already has dissipated itself, which is good. So just to double check, I would go through the value series, make sure that there isn't a series that uh, references, um, that represents the context switches, average context switches, and then click finish, and then save. And then we need to do the same for the table. We need to go to the table, and then just hover over the table and then click on this table icon and you can you can right click here or and select edit data binding 